Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. Last episode we built the solar tower as you can see behind me and you can also see I put the other two mirrors down. So that's producing max steam I think, or should be. And then the input of that is distilled water. Now there was a choice of using water, but distilled water is 50% more efficient so that's why I chose to do that. So today we're going to go and build the, the next part of this, the generator. So let's get on and do that. So there are two parts of the generator. So let's look at this. We need the steam turbine. So the steam turbine is this machine here, quite a big one. And it works, it needs an alternator to actually generate the electricity. So let's have a look at doing this one first of all. It's a huge machine as you can see, and you can see how much it needs. So three seal scaffolding, not such a big problem as it happens. Fluid pipes, no problem. Redstone engineering block, no problem. 24 heavy engineering blocks, that's a lot of steel. 480 block, blocks, quite a lot of steel. And then 10 blocks of steel, which is a lot of steel. That's already 10 nines. 90 blocks, 19 gets of steel. So there's a lot of work to get this built. So let's start assembling this. And I want the redstone to be on my side. As you can see in this picture, it's on the front side. So we want it to be this way around, because at the back here, that's where the steam comes into it. And the back, we have this output here. So we're, this is where the output goes to. Let's get this built. So I'll use the projector again. I've got the projector with me, I hope. Yep. Oops, I want to press W on that, in fact. If I press W, you can put it straight into your hotbar. We can then shift it out again and take this out. So we've got the projector ready. So what we want to do is to place this near to this. You see here I've prepared, <clears throat> I've prepared some steam output. So what I want to do is to put it around about here. Now it's actually wrong, so you can't really see it very well. But if I right click it twice, now we have the redstone block here. So let's place it down here like that. So now we need, as you can see, uh, steel scaffolding. So let's get these things into my hand. I don't need the steel blocks just yet. I don't need the heat just yet. I will need these and I will need the generator blocks and the redstone block I think is what we need to start with let's and we need some pipes of course so let's get the steel scaffolding put down like that the next one will be the sheet metal I think so we've got that I've got 35 of these I think we use all of them and this is the other half of the machine they actually get linked together by a block of steel You'll see that in a second. So now we need some heavy engineering blocks. Let's put those down. I didn't get those out, did I? I've got 28 of these heavy engineering blocks. So I've got four more than I need, I think. But I need some more for the accumulator. So that's sort of sort of hidden. Oops, missed. You've got to add it all together. And of course, I've broken this. Let me just get this out. I don't need them like that. I didn't need my sleepy bag, but I didn't need my pickaxe. So here we go again. So again, it's more of these machine blocks. Oh, that's wrong, as you can see. It wants, um, I think it wants a steel, a steel block here. So I'll just finish off this one. What have we got here? Nope, no pipes, steel blocks. Let's put down the steel, oh, I haven't got steel blocks with me yet. Let's put down the rest of it then. Down the piping. And this is then what this look like scaffolding, I think. I'm not sure. Let's get the steel blocks down the scaffolding. I haven't got any with me. Oh, but it's got steel blocks here. Look. And as you can see, these go all the way across. All the, way, the length of the machine like that and the last one's on the end here so what do we need now just some heavy engineering blocks on this one and the redstone engineering block on the end and then we go to the next level so we need some more pipes too close of course like that and then we need some more sheet metal by the looks of it Heavy engineering blocks. Sheet metal, I guess, yeah. Heavy engineering blocks again. 
and then we come to the last of these layers because this is four high this machine so this is where we need the radiator blocks and a fourth one over here and then the last is a pipe and that should complete the machine yes it does look so let's get the hammer out I've got the hammer somewhere or should have <laughs> There's nothing there, is it in the bag? I do, I don't think I've got it in the bag. I'll have to probably go and get it. Yep, I'll put it away somewhere. I'll come back in a second when I've got it. So I found it. Put it away, and I think we hit the... Um, hmm. Well, I'm not sure which block. Oh, yes, we hit the steel block in the middle there. And as you can see, it's formed into this thing, and it needs steam. So as you can, there's one more pipe to put down here. We can put that pipe down now, and that should link it into steam, and it should get steam. This machine itself doesn't have any form of GUI, as far as I know. Um, what should we use to do that one? Oh, there's no GUI involved in this one. We should use an empty hand, I suspect. As you can see, nothing there to see. This one, of course, now we should start to get all four of these lit. We've got all four of these lit. And you can see it's producing steam. So that steam's actually going down. So this is actually then taking the steam into the into the generator. It disappears. So the last thing we have to do with this is to actually put down the accumulator, which goes on to the end of this block here. So let's get that out of the book here. I don't think we need pipes for that one. So then we need to go... Well, actually, we can do it this way. You can go to alternator. Sorry, that's what we need. And have a look at this one. There's actually quite a lot of bits and pieces involved in this one. So every heavy engineering blocks, four generator blocks, high voltage coils, six, five HV capacitors, eight steel metal, and two sheets um, of steel as well. Two blocks of steel. So that's uh, it's quite a lot of materials involved in this one. Let's go up, have a look at the different things. As you can see, it's a reasonable machine and I think this is the end that we need to connect it to so what we're looking for here are the heavy machine blocks facing us so let's put this down then I need to put it into the projector of course like this and you can see we can put it down and you can go back this see it's got a red block in there so I'm just too far away so that looks okay, so we can put it down. That's the right way anyway, because we've got the heavy engineering blocks in front of us. So let's put those down. And then we need sheet metal around the outside of this. Oh no, sorry, these are not sheet metal. These are high voltage coils. And then we need the three. Yeah, I haven't got those. Where are those? Here we are, five H3 capacitors. I actually want that. I don't want the book, I don't think. And I don't think I need this. So let's put the high voltage capacitors down here like this. Oops, missed. <laughs> Typical. And then the generator blocks. So in fact, the gener these generator blocks go all the way around the outside of this. So I do need my pickaxe again because I messed up. And then on the end here, we've got the sheet metal again, I think. And then this is the next level, and you can see it's starting to form a core here around the middle of it. So generator blocks go down here, and of course these go again, actually go in the middle of this like this, like this time, and then we have the HV coils, and then we've got some steel in the middle, and then two more radiator two more sheet metals here so I'll put those on there and these are blocks of steel and that comes up to the third level where we start to finish off the f formation of this thing heavy engineering block good and then you can see what's going to happen we've got three of these which that basically, basically makes a loop around it and so does this around there so that's now formed and all we have to do now is to hit this with the hammer on the middle of these I think let's move that out of the way and there we go. So now, if we're lucky, we should see this rotating. Yes, it is. Look, it is rotating and it's producing power. And it's actually full, already full. So if you right click this now, you'll see that it's telling you you've got 1.2 million IF in there. There's no goo in this either. So you, it just disappears when you scroll. So now we can connect the machines to these. But I'm not going to do that yet because I do not have my um, uh, 
Faraday suit with me. That's still in the jungle base. So, uh, I'm, I'm between episodes, I also built this. Um, if you remember before, I have actually built one of these distillation towers from uh, Magnetograft. Well, this time I've connected them up because each one of these has three outputs. Uh, each, well, sorry, this the main input comes in here. So we take crude from in here. So let's have a look at this. We put crude in here, and I've actually got some crude into this in this barrel, I think, and then we can get that from immersive petroleum. So oil, I've got oil. Now this machine here will he actually heat the oil up, but there's none in at the moment because I disabled the output of this one. Let's put the output into this. So I, I think this the opposite side's got no connection, and I want the opposite side to be an output like that. And then you can see this getting the oil's coming out of that, and it's going into here. I know this isn't exactly part of today's uh, video, but I was going to show it you anyway because it's. I think it's quite a good way. So now we've got our 12 buckets of oil in here, slowly. <laughs> Don't see why it's gone slowly there. And here's the temperature, 350 degrees. Now that is probably enough to actually start to produce, giving us output. If it doesn't, if you don't have enough power to go up, but you can use this machine here. And this is the big boiler from um, Magnetic Craft. Uh, and it has an interface so basically you've put in fuel in here and it'll increase the temperature so 346 i do not think it's enough to get rid of the oil in the machine here it's not enough temperature so we need to get up to 350 and more I and mean, you can use this big boiler to do that so then that's going to put hot crude into this machine here which there is none at the moment it's got steam of course because i've connected to all that and then that comes each one of those outputs, the three outputs that come from here, will go into one of these towers. So this particular tower has got diesel, kerosene and gasoline uh, from the light oil that came in. So this one took light oil in, so that's the middle output. This one here is heavy oil. So heavy oil is producing oil residue, fuel and lubricant. I nearly got a bucket of lubricant from that. And the last one of these is the light LPG one, the LPG one, which are producing plastic, um, frogman pressurized pneumatic craft, that's the one, uh, naphthane, as well, naphtha as well, and some natural gas. I'm not quite sure what we do with all of these things, but just for some fun, I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second. So now I've got some coal for this. In fact, the front is here. So when I'm putting down these machines, I'm always starting from the front. So the front is always this side. So you start from the front and you build your way back. That's how it, that seems to be the best way to do this. So if I now put some charcoal in here, you'll see this charcoal get consumed extremely quickly. And in the process of that, it's actually putting up the temperature fairly quickly as well. So it increases the temperature of the steam. So the steam will actually get hot and then that will start to produce, to actually process all of this oil should start to go out, as you can see. And then that's then going to come into this tower here. So you'll see that the hot oil is getting put through and being emptied almost straight away. And all the other pipes are coming out and they're coming into these tanks like that. So we should see some light oil coming in every once in a while, filling up these different fuels in here. And then it's just a question of taking these out from here, like that. As you can see, this thing actually doesn't produce any pollution. I think it probably should do, <laughs> considering the amount of charcoal it's burned up. Look at that. So I think this is probably using as much as the diesel generator. <laughs> so anyway, there is one more machine I haven't talked about, but this one is the biggest machine I've seen in Minecraft. It's 18 blocks long from start to finish here, even though it's two parts. And when you include all of this stuff as well, it really does become quite large. Well, that's almost it for this episode, except for one thing that Danny told me about this morning, um, which is how you can cover these. Remember, I was trying to cover these with a the right click here. It doesn't work that way. You have to put them in your offhand, strangely enough. So let's go to that one there, press F, put it into my offhand, and then you can right click them onto that. And then that hides those cables. I've only got two blocks, haven't I? When you break them, you don't lose the bits, which is also quite nice. We'll get those two bits back, and we'll get the cables back again too 
Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was quite a challenge in building all of this stuff out. Actually, it was quite a challenge putting those um, uh, magnetic refineries down as well. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>